Mike, uh, both the numbers and the eyeballs kind of show that this, this team defensively this year just isn't as good as you were last year. Is there anything you can pinpoint to what the reasons are behind that? Xavier Johnson and Race Thompson are sitting on the sideline. And the X has been out a while now, who anchors, you know, and guarding the ball coming up the floor and does a lot of pretty good things defensively for us. So that's that's why we're struggling a little bit defensively. We got two starters that are sitting on the sideline. And I'm reaching trying to figure out who's gonna replace that. Yeah, just big picture, Coach. Earlier in the year, you guys win at Xavier, a good team. You beat North Carolina here. Now back to back, lose a 21 point lead at Iowa, lose at home to Northwestern. Kind of where do you think things are at, and what issues do you see that are fixable? Well, you got to keep practicing, and we got to keep working. You know, nobody's going to feel sorry for the Indiana Hoosiers. And yes, we got key guys that are sitting on the bench, not in uniform, but we got an. Other guys that are in uniform, they've got to step up and play. And, you know, I thought tonight, you know, getting down early, we, we struggled, you know, early on. Now, you know, maybe I have to tinker with the lineup again. You know, I thought starting Geronimo, I thought he would give us a lift being a junior. And the fact that he's done it. And, um, you know, and, and I'm, by no means am I blaming it on Geronimo, but we got off to such a slow start that uh, 17 down to a good team like that, they're playing well. And um, so I'm not taking anything away from them. They played a hell of a game. And, you know, we, we got down early, and it was a dog fight trying to get back, and we could never get back. This is sort of procedural, but it, it, number one, did you guys tinker with a little zone there, I think, in the second half? And number two, do you, do you think of maybe, because you're shorthanded, some guys that are so good for you on the ball, you know, sort of fiddling with the defense, trying some different looks that way? We played a lot of zone, more zone than I've ever played as a coach. We, uh, we picked up and we pressed, her, you know, in the 2-2-1 two, two, back to a 2-3. So, yeah, I am trying to change it up a little bit. Uh, but still, no excuse. We gave up 80, 80 points tonight, and you're not going to beat very many teams in a Big Ten giving up 80. Mike, to that end, uh, 16 turnovers led to 25 points for Northwestern. A lot of them turnovers were by some of the younger players. What, what's the message you give to them, and is this something that they just have to fight through a little bit? Well, again, they, you know, that's, you know, it's when you're dealing with young players, things like that happens, and. You know, as well as Jalen played today, he had six turnovers. And, you know, the turnovers that we had led to 25, 26 points, man. And that's, that's tough to overcome. And, you know, so we got to be better in that area. And we have been. You know, I mean, we've been averaging right at 12 a game. And, and you know, 16 don't seem like a whole lot, but it's, it's how you turn it over that leads to points. And, that puts you behind. Jim, Mike, uh, talking about the points and points off turnovers, the slow starts that have been kind of gotten to, a, to be a, a, a regular thing. But defensively, what can you change with, with it's something different? It seems every game. This time it was the points off turnovers. Like I uh, mentioned, it got down to at least 24 to nothing before Indiana was able to put some on that side of the ledger. But, what can you do defensively when you see that that's coming to try to alter that uh, and slow that down so it does not create such a hole? It ain't rocket scientists, gentlemen. You got to work harder. You got to work harder. And I think they've outworked us the last two games, even though you just said that we getting off to, so we got off to a great start at Iowa, I think. So, you know, but we didn't sustain it because the second half they outworked us. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's something that we got to continue to work. You know, I mean, it's not going, nobody's just going to hand deliver you wins. You know, we got to go earn a win. So, I mean, we got to go to Penn State now and see what we made of. Mike, when you say work harder, are you specifically talking just about defense or rebounding or everything? Play harder, everything, both, both sides of the ball. It's my job to get them to play harder. And that might, that might cure a lot of problems when you're struggling. Yeah. Mike, obviously 
Trace played the whole game today, and he's been battling through, you know, the back troubles he's had. I mean, first off, I mean, just what effort were you getting from him today? And, I mean, how, how much of a balance do you have to strike between, I guess, wanting to make sure he's healthy down the road but not wanting to keep your best player on the floor? Well, the guy had 18 and 24 points. I mean, 24 rebounds, 18 points and 24 rebounds. I'd say he played a solid game. Um, I mean, when you're 17 down and you're searching, you surely don't want your best player sitting over there next to you. And I thought he played his butt off, gave us all he could give us, but we fell short. Last question. Mike, this is the second straight game. You guys have fouled a lot, given a lot of free throws. I know some of that at the end was intentionally fouled to get get back in the game. But what do you think has been the reason for the fouling and for sending other teams to the line as much as you have? Well, again, when you're down and you have to press, 10 of those fouls came at the very end, 10 points. So if you hadn't been in the game, you maybe had not not had the foul, and, and the fouls would have been pretty evenly. You know, I thought we shot a few fouls ourselves. I don't know what we ended up shooting. We were 10 for 14. They were 19 for 28. But all of those came because we had to press and get back in the game to slow the clock down. So, I mean, we haven't been fouling a whole lot. You know, I, we just got to make our free throws. We were a little bit better in that area tonight. You know, it cost us, I thought, at the Iowa game. All right, Coach, thank you.